welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, it's Luminar 4 again, but today I thought we'd look at the uh, Canvas tools and uh, specifically the Cologne and Stamp tool and the Erase tool. And I, I picked this image, uh, it's a stock image. It has a lot of things that need cleaned up like these lines, this plaque here, this sign on the door, this garbage down here. Uh, we're going to get rid of all this stuff and we're going to get really in-depth into these tools. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is come up here and see this little pencil and ruler. This icon right here is the canvas uh, tools are inside of here. So give that a click and let's start out with the clone and stamp tool. Now I'm going to teach you a little trick here. Whenever you want to get rid of lines like this, it's best to break them up. And I'll show you some little tricks here. So uh, you need to click to set your source point. So let's set our source point. Uh, let's click right here. Now my brush is way too big, so we're going to make it smaller. I'm just using the left bracket key to make it smaller. I don't want to have it quite as soft as 100%. So I'm going to take the softness down to about yeah, right around 30%. So I'm just going to click in an area right here and give it one click and see I remove it. I broke that line. I'm going to break it in several points here. Right there. I'm going to hold the Option or Alt key down, click right here, and break it one more time right there. This line's okay here. Okay, so we need to do that first. So let's go ahead and click Done. And now we're going to come back to uh, the same canvas section right here. Now let's click Erase. Now here's a cool little tip here for erasing. Uh, first off, let's make sure we have our brush at the right size. Maybe just slightly bigger yeah maybe that size would be good what I want you to do is click here one time so give it one click come down here hold the shift key down and then click again it draws a straight line now you could go and get all these at one time but I don't recommend it sometimes it could it's given it too much to think about so just do one at a time now click erase and check this out it does a wonderful job at erasing that now we can come here and click here and shift click here and click erase and now we've got rid of that line okay same thing here we're going to click once shift click here and erase and let's do it one more time and this is this works really good and i'm really impressed with this tool inside of luminar 4 and erase again and now here we're going to click one time We'll come to the edge here, shift, and click, and erase. And uh, just like that, we're done. Now, it looks like they've uh, done some other cleanup here, so they missed some lines here. So let's just fix that too. Click once, hold the shift key down, click again, click erase. Could have been some shadows here or something, so I'm going to click once here, shift click here. Let's just clean it up. This is a good exercise in how to use your uh, clone and stamp and erase tools. All right, that's good. So next thing we're going to do is remove this area and these plaques here. And we're going to save the hard one for last, this bag of garbage right here, or groceries, who knows. Let's be brave here. We're still in the erase tool here. So let's try the erase tool and let's use our, let's practice what we were using. So I'm, first I'm just going to draw it right across here. Now that line's right there. I'm going to hold the shift key down and click down to here and then I'm I'm holding the shift key down I'm gonna click here hold the shift key click here and here and then I'm just gonna paint in right here now let's click erase let's see how good of a job Luminar 4 can do <laughs> bravo it did a great job how about this sign right here erase tool click hold the shift key down Continuing to hold the shift key down and I'm just clicking make sure you get all the shadows and everything Here and then we can just come in here. I can make my brush bigger, but what the heck? It's fun to paint Just like that and we're done now. Let's try clicking the erase again and see what kind of job it does Pretty darn good. I'm impressed now this one right here. What's it gonna do on this one? So Now I'm just gonna be brave here and just kind of paint across here and here and click erase if it doesn't work I can undo it uh, no 
not quite right. Let's Command Z or Control Z to do that. I'm going to do uh, Command or Control Z one more time. Let me come and make my brush a little bit smaller. It's going to come across here. I think I may have went a little too strong there. Let's try this. Now let's try Erase. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Couldn't ask for anything better than that. So the first time it didn't work. Hey, but if that happens to you, just uh, Command or Control Z and do it again. Okay, so next we're going to try to tackle this bag right here. Now there's some shadows and things in here, so we're going to have to take care of all that. It's going to take a little bit of time. We're going to use a clone and stamp for that. So let's go ahead and click Done right here because we're going to have to change tools. So we need to click Done. And next we're going to get our clone and stamp tool. First thing I want to do is zoom into this bag right here. So I'm going to click it one time. Zooms it into 100%. Let's hit the plus key. Zoom into 200%. And I'm just going to drag here right to this point right here so we can really get in close and personal so we can see what we're doing. So let's come to our canvas tools here and click on clone and stamp. Now, I've been cloning and stamping in Photoshop for many, many years now. So I'll show you some tricks here. So I'm going to come to this point right here and click. And I'm going to make my brush bigger. So I'm just using my right bracket key. And uh, I'm at a softness of 31%. I might just bump that up a little bit to maybe around 50%. Yeah, somewhere right around in there. And you can kind of see, you can, can you see, you can actually see the clone point. You can see it, uh, see a little image of what's getting cloned there, if that makes sense. So let's come down into here and we're just going to click it. I'll click it again, come down, click again, click and click right to there. Now I'm going to come here and click because there's a shadow that comes down through here. So I'm going to make sure I get that shadow. So I'm going to click. I can even drag as I'm clicking here right to there. Now there's a shadow that was there from that bag. So I want to make sure I get rid of the shadow that the bag is cast. So now I'm going to set, I'm going to hold the Alter Option key down and click right here and come down and just paint this in. Just giving it a couple clicks. Okay. And that's looking pretty good. And now here's a shadow here. So let's, let's Alter Option click here. And make our brush smaller. I'm just using the uh, left bracket key to make it smaller. And I'm just going to come in here and paint across. Got to fill this in. And now at this section right here, I'm going to option click right on this seam right here. And click. And I'm just dragging across. Just filling that in. That's a little bit off, so let me do it again. Click here. Sometimes you go too quick. And I'll tell you, stamping, cloning and stamping, it is an art. So take your time and do it right. Okay, and there's a little bit of shadow right there. So let me come here, Option or Alt-click right here. And just come across there. And fill that in. I think that looks pretty good. I got a bit of a shadow right here. So I'm going to Option or Alt-click here. And just paint across here. And then this seam right here, I'm going to get the... Uh, I'm going to Option or Alt-click right here. And just come across and paint that in. And now let's get this shadow right here. Like that. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so now we got to tackle this section here. And a little bit at a time. You don't want to go crazy. Let's make our brush a little bit bigger. Um, I'm going to come up here. The shadow's all the same. So I'm going to op Option or Alt-click here. And you, see, you can see that line there. See it? So you can, we can come here. I'm even going to clean this up a little bit. Just going to come down here and paint this in right down to the edge right there. Okay. And now let's come here and click here. And we want to make sure we don't have any shadow or anything in here from that bag. Let's make our brush a little bit smaller and clean that up right there. I think that's looking pretty good right there. 
now. I know it's a time, it takes some time to do this, but I'm telling you, Luminar is doing a good job. I went ahead and uh, sped up the uh, video here because cloning takes a little bit of time, and I didn't want you guys to, you know, s sit through and just, you know, watch every little thing. You can actually see everything that I'm doing. I'm option clicking and resampling re re areas and things like that, and just taking my time just to get it right. And uh, but one thing I got to tell you, I'm really happy with Luminar 4. I think it does a really good job. I mean, it, it really rivals uh, Photoshop in its cloning and stamping. And the erasing tool is really exceptional. So we're almost done right here. And there's just a little bit I'm going to have to fix here after I was all said and done here. But we're going to go ahead and fix that next. Yeah, it ends up this uh, board here at the bottom. It, 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 just, it was just a little bit too long. So... Hopefully in this next segment, we'll be able to get that corrected. And let's click on Done. Click on our canvas here. And what do you think? It's looking pretty good. The only thing uh, that might be wrong is this is a little bit, this is down a little bit too far. So let's go ahead and fix that. Let's go ahead and zoom in here again. Um, let's go to 200%. And let's see if we can fix that right down here. Let's just shorten it up a little bit. So we're going to go back to the clone and stamp. So we'll click on clone and stamp. It prepares our canvas. Well, I went ahead and uh, sped up the clip here a little bit because I didn't want to waste your time seeing everything. But, you know, in real time because it would take a while here. So uh, as you can see, I'm just optional alt clicking sampling different points here just to uh, get it to look just right and all I need to do is make it look realistic uh, just to sell sell the fake so to speak um, it doesn't have to be perfect but just has to look believable and I think it came out really nice and I, I think that's going to look pretty good right there when we're all said and done let's go ahead and click done here and see what we got and click on the canvas and yeah, I, I can be happy with that. I think that's fine. Now there's a couple lines right here that I see here after really looking over this image after I was done. See right here. Let's go and try the eraser tool. So let's click on erase and let's click, let's just paint over this line right here and click erase. And I want you to notice something. You notice it didn't take it away. And, it was, and, I, and I played with this before I started uh, recording right here, and it didn't take it away, and I thought, what the heck is wrong? Why isn't erasing that? And I found, remember I told you to take your time and do one line at a time? In this case, that's not the case, because watch, if I do both lines right here, do that line, and do that line and erase, watch, it'll correct it, it'll fix it. And they're gone. And I think the reason being was it, it saw that other line right there. And however it was figuring it out, it thought, I should have a line here too. So as you can see there, it's fixed. And now there might be a repeating line right here. So let me just click that and click erase. So bear that in mind. You might have, see, and even right there, it didn't get rid of it. So let me get rid of that one too and click erase. So now I'll correct it. So you see that sometimes if there's another line close to it, it'll sample over to that area and it'll, it won't get it. So you might have to get both of those lines. So bear that in mind. Let's click done here. And we are done. So let's go ahead. It's going to process out here. It takes a second. So let's go ahead and click this eyeball. So here's what we started with and here's where we ended with. So Luminar 4, my hat's off to you. I take it the whole way off. My hair's a mess underneath. But anyway, we're, we're done, and that is the clone and stamp tool. That's the erase tool. I tried to show you everything that I know so I can give you some nice good tips and tricks. So hopefully you learned a lot from this video. Well, that was the clone and stamp tool and the erase tool. I hope you guys learned a lot from this uh, video tutorial today. Hey, if you like this one, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe and click the bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for uh, joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Please leave comments and questions in the comment section below. I'll see each and every one of you right here next time. But until then, remember this, happy editing.